Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this word, Father God, that you have brought us once again to come before you to hear the word of God. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you for this day. I thank you for all those who you've led to this word. Father God, I pray that this word be an encouragement and help someone in their in their walk with God. So let's get straight into the word. Um, today's word, as you can see by the title, is the evidence of faith. The evidence of faith. Come on now. That is so powerful. God is so good. It is going to be made evident. And the, and the word, the Greek word for evident is delos. It signifies visible, clear to the mind. It is going to be made evident. But those, by your faith, it will be made evident to those who don't believe the God who you serve. So let's go ahead and get into the word. We're going to start here at Galatians 3, verse 7. I mean, I'm sorry, Galatians 3, verse 11. And it says, Now it is evident that no one is justified before God by the law, for the righteous shall live by faith. You shall live by faith. Yes, walk by faith. Put your trust and hope and confidence in God. Let God uh, give God complete control over your life. Walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. I love how it says here in Habakkuk, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4, Behold, his soul is puffed up. It is not upright within him, but the righteous shall live by faith. You shall live by faith and not by sight. Trust God. Put your trust and all your hope and all your faith in the Lord. Let's see here. It's, let's see more evidence of faith in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 15 verse 17 it says for God has put all things in subjection under his feet but it says all things are put in subjection it is plain that he is expect he is accept, accepted who puts all things in subjection under him hallelujah and I love here and I also have my um bible open too and I wanted to read this note to you guys. It, it, God is so good. Um, you, whew, he, Jesus just, he, over, he overcame death. He has put it into subjection. Come on now. God is so good. Let me read this note to you. Um, oh, where is it? I just had, was there. I'm sorry. Bear with me. Okay, 15. And it says here, it says, when believers are finally resurrected from the dead, the destruction of death will be completed. It will be completed. So, just hold in there. Jesus has already overcame the world. His enemies have now became his footstool. Your enemies will also become your footstool as well. You will overcome just hold in there and keep pressing forward. Continue to walk by faith. Continue to put your faith and your trust in the Lord. Because he will guide you. He will get you through. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Hold on to him. Here, now let's go ahead to Matthew chapter 26, verse 73. It says, after a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, certainly you are one of them. For your, for your accent betrays you. What did I say? It's going to be made evident. They are, they, they. It's going to be undeniable. There, it's, it's no denying it. By your faith, they're going to know that there is a God. By your faith, they're going to see the, the things that God is going to use you, use you for. There, it's going to be made evident to them that it could have no, been nobody but God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So let's go over here to 1 Timothy. And we're going to read uh, verse 7. And it says here, For we brought nothing into the world, and we cannot take anything out of the world. We brought nothing into the world, and we cannot take anything out of the world. For I love how it says, here it says the desire to be rich leads to one to fall into temptation 
Love of money has led some to wander away from their faith. So whatever God is about to bless you with, whatever God is about to, 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 to give you in your cup, do not let things of this world leave you, lead you astray. Do not let things of this world lead you astray. Whatever God is, is doing in your life, Put your faith and put all your trust in God. Don't let don't let people, material things, things of this world, remove your sight off of the prize, which is which is our heavenly Father. Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Amen. So we're gonna go over here to Hebrews chapter eleven. And we're going to read verse one. It says, now faith is the insurance of things hoped for, the, the conviction of things not seen. Assurance or confidence hoped for. On hope, conviction of things not seen. Faith is settled confidence that something in the future, something that God has promised will actually happen. Because God will make it happen. So put all your trust and put all your faith in the Lord. Put all your hope in the Lord. Whatever he has promised you. Whatever he has told you. Just continue like, Lord, I, I, I trust you, Father. I believe what you said that you was going to do, you're going to do it. I believe that you were going to come into my circumstances. I believe that you're going to deliver me. I believe that you're going to help me, help me financially. I believe that you're going to put a roof over my head. Whatever it is, put your hope and your trust in the Lord. Because he, he, it says in the note, and I'm going to read it for you. And it says in the note, again, it says something that God has promised will actually happen. Because God will make it happen. 11.1. One. Now faith is assurance of things hoped for. The conviction, the conviction of things not seen. It's the assurance. God is assuring you that he's going to do it. Just put your faith and your hope in, into him. And the things that even it may not look like it. The circumstances may not look like it. But... In God's eye, and we don't know what God is doing, but in God's eyes, he's like, yes, now I'm about to make a way. Just continue to, to, to hold on and, and to trust me. I'm going to make a way for you. So I pray that this word has encouraged someone, has helped someone. Um, if this word has helped you, please share this word with someone else. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, encourage, encourage someone else, whatever you can do, uplift someone else and, and, and pass this word along. So I pray that this word has helped you. I pray that God has protect over you, will protect over you and your family and cover you guys and keep y'all safe and out of harm's way until next time. Have a blessed day.